Oh shit, it's a cinematic, it's coming on, Dave. Oh no. Oh. Ah, fuck. Hey, it's something out of a Poe novel, or HP Love, Love a Nintendo. A Poe novel. Hey, Nintendo makes horror games now, Dave? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Silicon Knights did until they fucking got blown up. So, um, here we have a, uh, Roman Lichman. Oh, God. Looking at some, some, some planets, and, uh, Latin. Something about, uh, anatomy I class. don't have a head. He oh, here it is. Alright, what's that guy so angry about? Oh, look, blood. <laughs> it, look, looks, look it looks that, like paint. <laughs> look at that early 2000s 3D technology. Yeah, dude. Isn't it amazing? Well, it's wonderful. It, we have a, a fucking orange GameCube controller to go with. Oh, yeah, by the way, happy Halloween. <laughs> yes, this is our Halloween. We are kicking off our Halloween, is it, what, Halloween three weeks? A Halloween you fucking spooktacle, <laughs> spooktacleous. Our spooktacle. We're, we're kicking off No Talent yeah. Get Shut Your Hungry Asshole. We're kicking off No Talent Gaming Halloween Edition 2015 by playing through Eternal Darkness. Sanity's Requiem, otherwise known as one of our favorite games. From the GameCube era. This is the game that made you know, me miss a day of high school. <laughs> you know, I don't think those planets line up in the year 2000 like they did in this game. No. It's like a Lovecraftian tale. Yeah. It doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be congruent with, with actual events, stuff. <laughs> Any case. Anyways, put that, put that shit down, you you disgusting us. Actually, gonna say, yeah, I'm starting the game. Yep, fuck you. Uh, memory card slot A, memory card slot B. Slot A. How come that's a person with two rib cages? Where'd the second rib cage come from? I don't know. Maybe they're born with two rib cages. <laughs> Flesh, bone, bound together with the oddest. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, obviously, this this game is very Lovecraftian. It's obviously very old. Look at that like 1999 era Nvidia tech demographics. It's 2002. I know, but it still is. You know, is I'm also story, dad. Nor even the story of the Roivas family. It's it is the savior backwards. I was just saying that. <laughs> so like fucking it or not, undeep. <laughs> Yeah, the it's pretty on the nose. But th there are there are some things in the game that they just like ham fist into it. You know? Yeah. Has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Still though, I mean, they they Ignorance made a pretty so damn good game. And mm -hmm. dependent on so few. The guardians. Hey, look! Grow it's the restless. fourth guy. Their time once again near. <laughs> like the guardians are like sports. sitting in like a diner. And they're like, okay, what, what number are we guys? It's like, oh, we're number 28. And then like the girl goes, 25, here's Attention your order. And they're like, the time grows near. And the last hope for humanity. So we're going to be trading off. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're going to be trading off like every part. Yeah, switch up. we decided that we'd do a switch off thing for this. Because we both have played this game many times. And it's very, and very good. the thing is, Dev played it more when we were younger, oh, and shit, I played that's it. That's right. You start off with some zombies, you, don't we? Right, you, dude, you aim. You aim. Right, I gotta shoot one, don't I? You use a trigger. Oh, I'm getting owned. Okay. Oh, you huh? just fucking die. Boom. Oh, oh, remember, you can oh. aim up, Dev. Use it. One triggers to aim. One triggers to run. I think to I'm run. just gonna. Uh... Just gonna what? Waste more time like an <laughs> asshole? <laughs> I'm just gonna go in. Look at it. <laughs> Yeah. And that was climactic as fuck. <laughs> like, that was just totally fucking up his experience of this. Like, the, the first time I played this game, I was oh shit, I was so dude, freaked it's Obi Wan. <laughs> <laughs> what? He looks like a fucking Harvard professor. Oh, it's three thirty-three. Oh, that's pretty loud. This looks like your room. It looks like a dorm room, which basically what it is. Isn't she like? 19 or some shit? No, she's Hello. in her 20s. She's in Seattle um, at night. Yeah, who's this? Um, <laughs> isn't she in Seattle and like she flies to New York? Or uh, I don't remember if she's in Seattle or... or uh... She's obviously a hipster kid. Look look at her. I'll be on mm -hmm. the next flight out. She might be in New York, actually. Dude, she, she reaches Rhode Island relatively quickly. And she's, I'm on, she says, I'll be on the next flight out. And the game just didn't fucking accommodate the time oh, passage because they, they wanted the whole thing to be at I'm night. Pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip. Um, yes, yes, asshole. My grandfather's so. dead, and the trip yes, was pleasant. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's most unpleasant. It's a shame. She's played by Jennifer Hale. Who's that? Yes, it is. 
She's been in everything, man. Of course. She's fucking Sailor Jupiter. She was in Metal Gear Solid. She's been in like a billion games. She played fucking um not much to see. Oh god. I think she might have been in a Tales game. Well, ever been in a Tales game at this point. Wow. Oh shit. It's a pile of goop. <laughs> yeah. For some I saw I was like, that's fucking horrible. Roybus, is that your grandfather, Edward? Oh, fucking. Yes, yeah. it's him. He's wearing our family ring. He's like, <laughs> yeah. So, is there some donuts over he's in the break room? Quintessential Rhode Island detective. Why are you showing like, me this? He's like, can't you check dental records or something? <laughs> Just with you. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just it's a shitty job. cop. Yeah. <laughs> God. Hey, I know you're just like a, a, a pre-med student. No head. Uh, <laughs> is she pre-med? No yeah, she's either pre-med or she's med. There was certainly a lot of force used here. I've never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. I tell no lots of exposition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just get What's super left? graphic <laughs> with with the relatives of the deceased. You don't have a single clue. <laughs> We don't have a single clue. And she just starts crying. It's like, should I be telling you this? <laughs> there must be some clue in yeah, this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not leaving Rhode Island what until you do. But like, fuck school. <laughs> so do I. Well, doesn't this whole game take place over the course of one day? Had some. Like, no. from her point of view? No. But she's walking around the. Oh, okay. At this point, it's, her, it's, one, it's one day. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's been two weeks. Yeah, but like now, from, from now to the end of the game, is one entire day for her. Right? That's the. I think so. Well, it's either that or. By her it's like it's over a week. It's just as frustrated and confident as the local police. Mm -hmm. Alex Valley is right for the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie, his past, probably a tie to his murder, it'd be here. Press B! <laughs> All right. Dev, oh, look at the clock. I can, I can the... punch. Yes, you can. Good for you. I'm Ronda Rousey. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> you still don't know who Ronda Rousey is, do you? Nope. Okay, examine. Look at this. Detail. <laughs> Portraits. What you want to do it? Portraits of the ancestor Roivus line the foyer walls. The faces reveal a dark brooding edge. There's something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. Wait. This is wait, wait, wait. Portraits of the ancestral Roivus line the foyer walls. There's a problem in that sense. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. How, like... There should it, be an apostrophe of the Roivus. But of, of the ancestral Roivus? Roivuses. Okay, Roy, this is, I can see that there. A beautiful carriage clock. The cans appear to be stuck. The clock continues to tick. Yep. The time permanently is set to 3.33. There is a key in the back of the clock, presumably for winding it. Should Alex look at the key? Obviously. Alex picks up the desk clock and pulls the key. However, there's something odd about it. This isn't for a winding at all. It's like a desert key. You got a desert key. <laughs> you got a new key. Dude, Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice detail. 2D view. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the last week rays of sunlight fight through the shroud of dark. As it's an eerie feel of the last few weeks' events. As the sun sets, Alice will be alone in this house. Nothing but spirits of old are company. This door, door is locked. locked. How about you don't go in the fucking library? <laughs> That's well, not. Obviously, way, you gotta you gotta like check I'm, out. I'm gonna room. I'm gonna explore this place systematically, like it was my first time playing. Because to be frank, I haven't played it in over ten fucking years. Oh look, and I still up. don't it's, completely it's, get it's, what it's, to it's do. It's like the weirdest lock in the world. <laughs> what the fuck? Here, I obviously stick a sword in this, right? Yeah, it's but it's gotta slot. be. You gotta you gotta have it uh... enchanted. A wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of the lock. A colored sigil is carved into the wood above a wide slot. The slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade. Um, cool my story, question bro. is, I'm pretty sure that's like a, that's like a pantry. How did he eat? He just had the sword, he just kept, kept poking it. <laughs> Grand piano stands there, ready the hands of his musician. However, Edward has never leaded that description as such the piano found disuse. Yeah. I bet if like you banged on it's it. It's dusty it, like his dick. It would give, <laughs> if you banged on this piano, it would give you like a, dun, 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 like, like a really kind of creepy, um, out of tune piano. Dun, 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 dun. Remember this time I snuck into a church? Um, it was attached to the dorm that I was in. Ugh. Oh, this illustration features a collection of strange. This is just the the map. It's, it's not, it's, it's, it's oh, so it's like the Pokemon. But yeah, that, that's set shit. for one because Alex's grandfather had no girlfriend. Um, <laughs> that field with no girlfriend. That field. <laughs> that field with no head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a church attached to my dorm room way back in the day, or my dorm rather, oh. and we could we could sneak in, and I would like. I'd sneak in at like 3 a.m. with like other people, and they'd like be looking around at how cool it was, and I'd like slip over to the piano, 
and they just hammer the lowest notes, and you'd be like, Dang! <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, and then they'd go, oh, shit themselves. And it was really funny. <laughs> Such a fucking troll. The door's mm-hmm. locked. The door's You're, locked. You were called that the door is locked? Um, I got a... Okay, thanks, thanks. I understand that there's an inventory. I'll use oh, it. Oh, you got a second floor key. You Using the second floor, floor key. The key comes apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Because this game is shit. This is obviously the, the room where Alex's grandfather um, watched girls. <laughs> <laughs> How? <laughs> he, he would like... Look at the window. He'd Look. go to this thing, and he'd be like, Oh, I can crank it. <laughs> and then he would like crank it. He'd be like, yes, I'm going to adjust it. And now he's like, I can see girls over here. I can see girls over this way. It's pretty what amazing. Looking, I can what, see what, girls what, 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 everywhere. What if he's looking at Alan? He's like, I can see girls here. <laughs> can I read your notes? No. There's nothing there. You don't think any of this would be relevant. Like, your, your grandfather has like a, a fucking, you know, ancient library and giant telescope and none of it's relevant. Hey, Alex, you're not going to check out anything? She's probably to look at it for the past two weeks. You're, you're Actually, I'm kind of surprised she hasn't found anything. Wasn't the body like right here? How, did it, did it, like, w- w- wasn't there like a massive blood goop stain? Like, did they just yeah. scrub it up? Of course. Because I mean, there's it's it's like pristine hardwood right now. Yeah. Broivis family got rich on bleach. That's how they got rid of the blood of their enemies. Oh, Grandpa! Fucking ah. <laughs> 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 asshole. So. Uh, Keep going. Who sat in these chairs? These kind of like out of the way, nowhere sitting chairs. Hmm. Hmm? These books in the corner seem to focus on the supernatural. Writings of Poe, Lovecraft, the poetry of Blake. The this is this this feels very like on the nose. Yes, very much. It's very much like when you pull out the first Twilight movie and like Bella wakes up beside Romeo and Juliet, a copy of the book, and it's like, yeah, we know what you're trying to do. He has like thirty studies. Yeah, he kind of does. Well, but here's the thing: is he, he he didn't build the damn place, you know? He built part of it, didn't he? Uh, yeah. But not the whole thing. Okay, here's the clock. Look at the clock. I gotta put in... Details. Uh, the looming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on this empty room with an almost patriarchal air. So basically, like, if a girl walks in, she just, like, has a period. Um, I was thinking more like, I was more thinking more like instead of a chime, it's just mansplains on the hour. Man. <laughs> <laughs> God. There you go. Oh! It's like the da na na na. Yeah, it pretty much is. Look at her hip sway, dude. Look at that ass. I see you there. Shaking that ass. Shaking that ass. Shaking that ass. It's like almost supernatural. Like like the way that like her her center of gravity, like in her stomach, remains in one place, and yet her hips like just rotate in a circle. <laughs> yeah, not not the best modeling. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think I have a giant boner over it. Oh, cool. So here's his secret, secret study. Yeah. The other ones are just regular studies. Why did he have this? This is where he kept all his victims, dude. Yeah, that's obviously the Necronomicon. Yep. But first... You can check, uh... A small shrine of candles. The candle so placement rust. seems to be very deliberate. You remember Matching the candles? illustrations in the wall. The candles are unlit. I can't obviously do anything with that right now. Nope. Or that. A diabolic drawing of a stack of human bodies, each one cemented into place. I forgot about this. Mm. What twist of the psyche could have entity this drawing? Actually, so that was one of the first things. It's meticulously rendered down to the sub this detail. The precise anatomy of fractured bones and convolution of spines and ribs entwined in a mesmerizing sight. Yeah, that was one of the first things that you told me about this game was that tower. I think, um, I think this lady needs to realize that her grandfather was probably a terrible human being. <laughs> I think she does realize And that it. He, I think he probably got what was coming to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, here's the Gladius. Let's yeah. pick this shit up. Woo-hoo. So you can equip it. Equip it. Are you sure? Equip it. Equip? Equip it. Yeah. And I check can, it up, check it out. I can... Uh, blah! Uh, <laughs> what if the fucking detective comes to the door and she's just standing there with a sword just slashing and nothing? What's this all about? A bizarre, a cyclopean city. It's immense architecture and natural. Well, oh, this is the city underneath the house spoilers, yeah, right? It, yeah, it is. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> oh, and here's the Cambodian yeah, temple. It's, uh, the, yeah, it's the like yeah. Angkor Wat or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angkor Fail. Yeah. <laughs> Angkor Wat? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, 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 I saw a thing. Hey, it's a mask. The face is serene and composed with a, with a faint hint of a smile tugging at the corners of the lips and eyes closed in deep meditation. It looks like it's about to suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> God. What would, oh, this is the monastery it's level, It's the monastery right? that, that you, you're in, like, 
uh, with three levels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you go back all these like a bunch of times, right? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> An aged page set inside a glass room hangs on the wall, and insane scribbling covers the page. Incomprehensible to Alex. Perhaps if Alex had some kind of tomb, it could be deciphered. It's a tome. So it's like, pick a up this tomb. A tome. Pick up the tome. It's a tome. I'm going to tomb for my sins. Yes, yeah, Steph. A large leather bound antique. Leather. Bound antique. Yeah, book yeah. It's just upon human the leather. Yeah. Shall I read the book? Let's read it. <laughs> just Alex. This fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking letterboxed ass cutscene, dude. Yeah. Well, if you kept it on standard, it would have been. Whoa! Ouch! I had no knowledge of what was to come, nor did I care. Oh my! Yep. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. Bum, bum, bum. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. Oh, look at these amazing 2002 era 3D graphics. Good you job. Know, that fade was kind of uh, impressive for the era. Yeah. I don't, I think it might be the first time I've seen this. You played the game. No, 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 sorry. I've seen what he's saying before they translate. Quam primum Centurio Augustus. I would like to compliment you once more on yeah, your see? tactics. Yeah, see? It's like, just switch no over to English. No, it's... It was kind of an awkward fade. <laughs> like, exists, this game, I feel like, has a bunch of beliefs, sections where it's like... Or his orders. That was a good try to retrieve for back effect. in 2002. <laughs> yeah. And strong. you did it. It was a really legitimately good try at doing what you were trying to do back then. It does not age well. But it's fucking funny because it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, you, okay. When, Dude. why would he go? <laughs> what, okay. He's a fucking maroon. He's like, come to us, pies, ministers. He's like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, just like, you know, just give it to me. Give me straight. Oh, he's gonna stand in the stone hand. Oh boy. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so, Yeah, um, a really smart thing to do, pal. What is this guy's, uh... What? His backstory? His M.O.? His reason for doing this. <laughs> it's like, well, he I just, guess I'm here He just now. heard the summons of the ancients, man. I guess I'm... He's like one of those cult guys. You know, you think about Romans is, like, they, they, they were pretty superstitious lot, right? That's true. The days on the floor... Days, yeah. ...is finally crafted, inlaid with golden gems that Pius can identify. A strong linear design is situated in the middle and is equally unknown to the Roman soldier. See, also, I feel like this game was probably the first, like... It was, it was, it was, like, it was like the proto-Assassin's Creed. With all like the time travel and like multiple lives and shit. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's another game that had something like it. What, where like you, you play as a billion different characters all throughout history? Probably. I mean, maybe, but I can't think of one on top of my head. This is like the first big one, you know? Yeah. What do you got to say? Let's examine. Recreations of the wall are a mixture of ancient cultures, civilizations that have long since turned to dust. Perhaps this dungeon is all that remains of them. So, oh, well, I have to uh, go down. Basically. I legit, yeah. Is, is there no other, like, door? Or is it just down? No, no, it's just down. Let's go down the Silent Hill 2 pit. <laughs> a shaft descends toward the next door level. So there's a shaft. Let's fucking go. Let's so fucking you gotta go. You got to go in front, of the, oh, okay. in front of the ladder. <laughs> please. <laughs> Thank you. Detail. A ladder Dang. leads into the dark, dank heart of the labyrinth. Dang. Danger lurks wait, beneath it. Wait, wait, hold on. A ladder leads into the dank meme of the labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> the is So we went down. Dude, it's a fucking corpse. That's fucking incredible. Corpse pile, yeah. What if he starts fucking it? Um, and he just fucks everything in there. Uh-oh. Oh, oh it's god. Box. It's like, huh? This is battle stands, man. See, check it out. Check oh it out. shit. Dude, it's a skeleton. Yeah, they're, they're weak as shit, man. You can take those, not no problem. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna get us. <laughs> it's like the He's slowest gonna get fight us. ever. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll get here next episode, Dave. What do you think? Uh, it sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> oh no.